Hey guys, Matt Bell coming to you from Electric Violin Shop today. We are going to talk about electric violas. That's right. Despite the name of our shop, Electric Violin Shop, we actually sell violas as well and cellos and bowed basses, upright basses. So the question we get from a lot of people, hey, what about us viola guys, right? Are there violas, electric violas available? Yes, there are. Electric violas are a thing, and there's a number of different options. So we're going to talk about that today. There are a few companies that sort of on the reg produce electric violas. Uh, Yamaha, the SVV200, NS Design makes one in both their uh, NXTA level and the CR level. Glasser makes electric violas in both the AEX level and the AE level. And Bridge makes violas in both the regular level and the Dragon level. Uh, you can special order a viola from Zeta. It's sort of a, it's sort of a regular thing that they make, but you, you more or less have to special order it. And then wood violins and Jordan violins will both custom make violas. Generally takes a bit of time to get that done, uh, but that can be done. And then there's this option called the 14 inch viola. Uh, so we will get into that in a little bit. Uh, the first thing, the electric viola from Yamaha, the SVV200, is a stock item. You can see it right here on the wall behind me. It's got um, headphone jacks in it. It's got, uh, you know, the volume knob, the on and off, the whole bit. And there's two different EQ modes in there. Uh, this is the one that's available in pearl white. Really, really cool looking instrument. And this is a 16 inch viola. Uh, next one, NS Design. This is a CR viola, um, and these are also a 16 inch viola. Uh, these are available in, uh, also available in the NXTA level as well, just so you know. This one has a headphone jack on the back, just like other CR violins do. Um, and then it's got volume, treble, and bass. And then it's got pits mode, arco mode, and arco with a high pass filter. Really, really cool instrument. Uh, the next one is a bridge viola. Uh, just got this one in. This is a really, really sweet looking viola. 16 inch viola, headphone jack. This one is a is a dragon level viola. Um, they also make these in their in their regular bridge level, um, and you can get those custom made in uh, pretty much any any color that that bridge does their violins in. Uh, Glasser makes violas in um, both the, this is the AE level, and then there's a picture here, the AEX level. These are available in a, in a bunch of different colors, and they actually do have some different sizes. This is a five string viola, which you can do with a high E or a low F. And then uh, they do have a couple of different sizes of violas as well. And then I do not have a Zeta viola in stock at the time of this, uh, of this video shoot, but you can get a Zeta viola made um, and in pretty much any type of wood that you want, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a sort of a semi custom thing. And, uh, and they're really nice <laughs> wood violins and Jordan also do, uh, what they would call a pure custom instrument. So, uh, we sort of, as we get into the electric world, um, there's sometimes more than one way to look at a given thing. So if I, if I see as five string instrument is this a violin with a low c or is it a 14 inch viola with a high e well it turns out either way to look at that is correct okay so if i've got this five string violin let me just grab this random one off the wall here this reader violin you could look at this as being a five string violin with an extra low c or you could look at this as being a 14 inch viola with a high e so because they share three common strings, um, you know, we could really look at it either way. Um, why are there not more options? We carry violins from over 20 different manufacturers. Um, you know, I, this 50 number, I don't know if that's really true number or not. I sort of pulled that out of thin air. Like 87% of statistics are made up right on the spot. And that's one of them. Um, so yeah, there, there are a whole lot of violinists for every violist. And then you take that fairly small viola market and then break it up into 15, 15 and a half, 16, 16 and a half, 17 inch. 
you get such a small number of a, a small demand for instruments in any given size that it really doesn't make a lot of sense for most manufacturers to make a full range of electric violas. Like even Yamaha, this massive company, doesn't make 15, 15 and a half, 16, 16 and a half, 17 inch violas, electric violas. They just don't because there's not enough of a demand for each size that financially it would make sense. They, they would be astronomically expensive. Okay. So, you know, it, then you sort of fall into this world of 14 inch violas. You generally wouldn't string a violin body with viola strings. And it's because a violin body, a 14 inch violin is not the same body as a 14 inch viola body. They do make 14 inch violas. And it's a lot of times it's for, for kids or smaller people who, who want to play a violin scale, but they need a viola sound. If you made a viola, a 14 inch viola body, it would be a thicker body um, and it would produce a deeper and fatter sound. But once we go electric, the majority of your tone does not come from the body. It comes from the pickup. And the pickup on this instrument, you know, the violin body has a very specific EQ curve to it. And the viola body has a different EQ curve to it. The pickup doesn't have any of that. The pickup is relatively flat. And we can sculpt that with EQ either in our processing or in our amp or whatever. So you can string an electric violin A to C, a four string electric violin, and you pretty much have a 14 inch viola. You, with a little bit of EQ, you can get a very viola-y sound. Um, so violists can sort of have a number of choices if they're willing to look at five string violins. Um, if you have a five string instrument, a violist can choose between adding a high E to their standard A, D, G, C strings, or they could add an F on the bottom. Um, because a lot of violists also play the violin, the whole, the deal about it being a different scale length is not that big a deal for a lot of violists. There are violists who don't play violin and they need that longer scale length because that's what they're used to playing. And there are a number of options for them. But if you are one of the many violists who also plays violin, you can pick up a, a, a five string violin, which is technically a 14 inch viola. And if you've got a five string instrument, you can take alto or treble clef jobs with just one instrument. And uh, you leave all the violinists sort of scratching their head at what on earth is that crazy looking cleft that you're reading. So if we look at the differences in EQ between the two, I said that you can take a, a, a an electric violin and make it sound very much like a viola with some EQ. Well, how do we do that? Um, the low G on a four string violin is 196 hertz. The low C on a viola is 131 hertz. So we've got quite a bit of shift in the bottom frequency there. If we look at a spectrograph of what a violin produces, there's a there's a bit of a peak in that eight to 10 kilohertz range that violas do not have. So the first thing I'm gonna wanna do if I wanna make a five string violin sound like a five string viola is I'm gonna pull out that eight to 10K or pull it down quite a bit. So I'm gonna pull out some of the highs. Violins also don't really produce much below 200 hertz but violas have a pretty nice bump in that 100 to 200 hertz range. So that's the thing that I'm going to do. I'm going to pull out the highs of the violin to make it sound more like a viola. And I'm going to bump the lows to make a violin sound more like a viola. So violas will have more mids and, and lows and they will have less highs. So that's the thing to think about if you're, uh, if you're wanting to EQ your instrument to sound more like a viola than a violin. Uh, I got two quick videos for you. I'm going to play a glasser violin and a glasser viola. And these are both just played into the air. There's no electronics here. They're just, you'll be able to hear the acoustics of the instrument. And you can hear the difference between a violin and a viola real quick. Yeah, so you hear that that viola does have more sort of a, a low mid type sound and less of a, there's less on the high end. 
Um, so if you're trying to EQ an instrument to sound more like a viola and less like a violin, that's what you're going to go for. So I'm just going to pick an instrument and I picked a, uh, I picked an NS design CR five, uh, a CR level five string violin. And I played it for you And the CR five is interesting because it has treble and bass controls on the instrument. So I'm going to let you hear that instrument by itself. And then we'll adjust the treble and bass controls. And you can hear, I, I don't know that I would necessarily go all the way, treble all the way down and bass all the way up. But I just wanted to he let you hear the spectrum of sounds that we can get just from the instrument itself using the EQ controls. <laughs> All right, and then the next video I want to show you is we're going to take basically the same concept and we're going to turn uh, the EQ a little different. I'm running the instrument fairly flat or completely flat. I've got treble and bass centered on the instrument this time, but I'm going to show you on the screen what the difference in EQ on a Boss ME80 for the violin and the viola. So there, there's just a couple of examples of how I might change the EQ to make something sound a little bit more like a violin or something sound a little bit more like a viola, um, but using the same instrument. So just wanted you to have some ideas of how we might take uh, what some of the options are for electric violists out there. There are some companies who make uh, electric violas as just sort of a standard part of their production. Uh, you can custom order a electric viola from a number of different manufacturers and we talked about those or you can take an electric violin and treat it like a 14 inch viola and there are some things you can do to really sort of make it sound more viola-y and less violin-y so uh yeah thank you guys for listening i hope you get a chance to uh, subscribe and then you can listen to and check out some more of our videos